Hey guys, Adam here, and welcome to episode 7 of The Ways. So Amanda and I tackled deadlifts and front squats as our main two lifts today. And we started off doing a throwback to my days as a bodybuilder in a great rear delt exercise. So if you lean your head onto the end of a bench, it really helps to take the momentum, any cheating uh, out of the lift. And uh, the bench is about 80 degrees, and you really want to keep that tension and focus on squeezing the shoulder blades together. It's a great burn on your traps, upper back, and of course your rear delts. So then we started into calves. Um, again, we do calves every workout. Uh, this is five sets of 20 on the Smith machine. And again, you really want to focus on that squeeze. Um, before doing any partials, I try and do as many reps as I can with that top squeeze, and it's a great burn. And it's also a great warm up uh, for your ankles for any squatting or deadlifting or any big compound movements. So now deadlifts. Um, we backed off the weight today for Amanda to get uh, her technique cleaned up. A lot of new lifters tend to lift with their back more than their posterior chain, more than their glutes and their hamstrings. So I wanted to get her to focus more on that. And, and even in the first rep, you saw that she pulled more with her back, and then she settled down and used her posterior chain. Now, setting up for a deadlift, you want to have the bar over your midfoot, okay? You want to load your glutes and your hamstrings and lean into the bar and try and pull through your heels, almost like you're lifting your toes. And tuck your chin in at the top. And then coming down, you want to slide it right down your thighs. So now on to uh, sumo deadlifts for Amanda. Again, uh, only, you know, half of the weight of her new personal best at two at uh, 205 and again you see that she's see she's she hasn't got that um that connection yet with her with her muscles that comes with time so she's pulling more with her back and again after the first rep she settles down and she's getting really good so I really wanted her to focus on keeping her, her back tight in a straight line. Nice. Very nice. So my top set was 455 for a double. And it, it, it went great. Um, probably the heaviest I've gone yet this year. And so I think I'm going to start pushing deadlifts more now. And again, you'll see that. You know, even at 455, you make every rep look the same. The same as 225. So then I sort of just burned out uh, with 225 for 15. And again, you'll see, yeah, you know, you're using your posture, your chain more. You're sliding that bar down your thighs. Okay, you're keeping the contact, the bar close to your body. So when it comes back down, it's right back over that midfoot again. And even though my head is pointing down, it's still in line with my shoulders and my back. So on the front squats now, and Amanda is working with 65 pounds for three sets. And when doing front squats, you really want the bar to sit behind your front delt, between your front delt and your collarbone. And you want to step out and you want to lift your rib cage and your lats. Keep everything tight. That's what helps keep your elbows up. And of course, a tight core. Best thing you can do when learning to squat or anything is to leave your belt off. Okay? It's, the, it's one of the best things for your core. So you see here what, you know, sort of experience uh, gives you is that um, you know my reps are all roughly the same. Knees out over my toes. There's no foot movement.
Okay, last one, best one. So I'm in his last uh, set here. The front squats, her third set. And um, I'm, I'm so impressed that, um, you know, she's really pushing past parallel. She's, she's trying her hardest, and it's paying off. You'll see that, you know, you truly really shouldn't do front squats um, for a lot of reps because your form does break down. And your elbows will start to drop. But building that strong core will help keep those elbows up. All right. And a little blooper here for you. Bloopers. Blooper reel. <laughs> We're doing front squat. And that's that lift again. So thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, you know, it's a, it's a good indication to me that you want me to keep making these videos and, um, and I really enjoy doing it. So good hunting and there's lots more on the way.